Right now at four, a look at what the Target 12 investigators are working on. Steph Machado joining us live with an update on the proposal to borrow hundreds of millions of dollars to save Providence's pension system. Another hurdle for that proposal could be overcome tonight, though. Right, Brian, the House Finance Committee is planning to vote on a bill that would let the city borrow this massive amount of money to fund the pension. They are expected to first amend the proposal. The bill would still allow the city to borrow $515 million. The committee plans to slightly decrease the interest rate cap on the bond to 4.9% among other changes and the bill would still require voters to approve the plan on June 7th, even if this legislation passes first. And Brian, it's no secret that interest rates are going up. So if the city can't get an interest rate on the bond below that 4.9%, they won't be able to borrow this money. The safeguards in place because the whole idea behind this is that the interest rate on the debt would be less than the money that the city will get in investing it in the pension fund. But opponents still argue it's just too risky to borrow this much money and potentially not realize that return. And as we know, General Treasurer Seth Magaziner has had his doubts about the pension bond. His opinion holds a lot of weight as the state's treasurer. So is he on board with what we're talking about? Right, so Treasurer Magaziner has recommended a series of guardrails for lawmakers to consider in the bill. The committee tonight has included some of his suggestions in the amended version they are voting on, but he had suggested an even lower interest rate cap of 4.5%. Magaziner also lives in Providence, so I asked how he will vote in the special election on June 7th. His spokesperson says he hasn't decided yet. He's still reviewing the updated legislation. Uh, Mayor Lorza and Council President Johnny Gliozzi are really pushing for this bond as potentially the only good option to solve the pension problems. They, however, will both be out of office in January. So what do the Providence mayoral can the candidates think about all this? Because they'll be the ones to deal with it. Exactly. I asked all three of the mayoral candidates today. They all tell me they plan to vote in favor of the bond on June 7th. Nirva LaFortune says she encourages voters to get out there and vote yes. She noted the city will only go through with it, though, if market conditions are favorable. Brett Smiley says he's cautious and doesn't think this is the only solution, but said voter approval is an important step. And Gonzalo Cuervo also said he will support the bond, though he says pension bonds are not ideal. And I want to give a reminder for Providence residents, you can vote early at City Hall from now until June 6th on weekdays. The special election is again Tuesday, June 7th at polling places throughout the city. And if you have a mail ballot at home that you requested, you need to get it back to City Hall by the time the polls close on the 7th. So either get it in the mail or you can drop it off in person. Those dates are right around the corner too. Mm -hmm. All right. As always, Steph Machado, thanks for your time. We will have an update on tonight's House Finance vote when it happens tonight. Thanks so much.